getting a tour. Here's my wife, Carla. Hi there, how are you? I'm the, um, I'm the Admiral, let me show you the captain. Okay. Here's captain <laughs> Kasuru. Hello, Captain. Hi, <laughs> hi, how are you? I'm well. Thanks. I think we had yeah. a sign which said, I'm the captain of this boat, and the admiral, my wife, says it's okay for me to call myself captain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's about it. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera around and give you a tour. Okay, okay. great. So I'm going to step back. I'm stepping back into the galley. We had margaritas for sundowners tonight, so let me get that out of the way. Under counter lights. Oh, yeah. I have to ask you a question. One of the things that we had installed in our anticipation of cruising in the islands was a 10-gallon stainless steel rum tank. You did that. Yeah. Here it is. There's the spigot. There it is. There There's it is. The oh, my gosh. Yeah. And that was for Mount Gay rum. And the funny part was we actually filled it um at the dickerson yard when before we brought it over to annapolis and the day we did the test sale with yachting magazine young man just as nice as could be we were out sailing we were healed over he said it smells like we're in the islands <laughs> and they had not put a stop um, you know, the rum was just flowing out into the thing that we smelled great. The smelled whole boat great. smelled fantastic. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> you know, I gotta tell you, we're intending to find a rum factory, and we are intending to fill it. Have a Mount Gay and tonic for us. All right, I'm gonna flip this around again and give you a little more tour. I have the original. These are the original boxes, I think. Yeah. And um, we have some um, evaporator plates. Okay. Is that I have both sides available, right. but right now it's kind of a cold box over here, and this is our right. really cold box. From what I can see, looks like it's in beautiful shape. I imagine you did the chairs. Right? Yeah, we built the chairs. Dick Hutchings, who I told you about, who was a co-owner of Fawcett's, he had a Dickerson 40. He was the first one to put chairs in a Dickerson. You've got your head here. So going in the Tunnel of Doom. Right. This is where we normally sleep. Somebody took the chart table in the aft cabin out and put a head in. And then the owner that they bought from put the chart table back in. That's definitely a different uh, chart area that we had. I want to show you the cockpit. Still the same? Yep, still the same wheel. You know, and it's interesting. I'm sitting here looking at a picture of my, my father at the helm of Papillon, we were taking the boat to the a boat show and we were going down to the Tappan Zee Bridge and my father passed away in 89 and in the background is the World Trade Center. Oh, no. Sign of impermanence. It <laughs> looks just like Ted, so it'll be like having a picture of Ted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna step outside here. Oh, look and, how pretty. Uh, so you know, the, the teak decks are gone, huh? Oh, you had teak decks? Yeah. 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 We were under contract uh, to sell the boat, and the, uh, the new owner wanted teak decks put on. We did that, and then he backed out of the deal. And long story short, we got, in, you know, we got into a little legal battle. So we ended getting free teak decks, and we still owned the boat. Here's the repair from the outside. Oh, yeah. We had to repair that whole section there. And uh, we have an amazing woodworking guy, um, Joe Clay in Oriental. He's, he's a wood whisperer. Well, we have a hard dodger on here. Can you see that? Yep. Well, that's Fabulous. a great idea. It's fantastic. We're at solar panels and we have wind. and We had a self-steering vane back there. Another question um, that came up. We wanted to know what kind of dinghy you had because we still have Davids, yeah, Davids. to the chocks, yeah. The chocks, yeah. They're, they're still here. 
We had a fatty knee. We kept fatty knees when we sold Papillon, and we took it on our year trip. The wow. best sailing we ever had was on fatty knees. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was called Toddy's Yacht. It brings back wonderful memories. You need to get a copy of Papillon and have it in your bookshelf. After Absolutely. You read it. Okay. <laughs> Why did you name her Papillon? You know, freedom, you know. Uh, he was on uh, Devil's Island, a crime which he claimed he never committed. And it just was his story of escaping the island, as, right. which, you know, which the movie did a good job, but the book is really wonderful. We're so glad that you're enjoying our wonderful Papillon. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Ted and Carla Reed, for an amazing journey into the stories of Papillon. Her, uh, her birth, and thank you for building her. She's a beautiful boat, we love her, and uh, we look forward to taking care of her as uh, lovingly as you did. Be sure to catch part one of our interview with Ted Reed on Dickerson Boat Building History in the Chesapeake. Ted shares stories and memories, including how he first fell in love with Dickerson sailboats and ended up buying the company. As always, thank you for watching, aloha.